the Great Deliverance Summit. Theme Breaking Limitations. Heavenly Father, we dedicate this evening in your presence. We pray, Lord, that every one of us will be visited by your hand. Minister grace to those who are under my voice. We want to leave this mountain this day. Saying the Lord has spoken to us. In Jesus name. Amen. Now you may be seated please. Look at your neighbor and tell them, have you realized by now that, that, that when you sit next to me, you get blessed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are getting to the word. Are you ready? Reverend, uh, no, Apostle Junior. You know, Apostle Junior... I love him because he's been consistent. I have known Apostle Junior before he was Apostle Junior. Now, now you, Nakuru must receive you well. In Jesus' name. God will never leave you the way he found you. You have a great, great destiny. And I want to thank God for all these two apostles who stood before I came here. Apostle Moses and Apostle Junior. Wonderful seasoned men of God. Why I'm saying so is because I didn't see them yesterday. I've seen them over the years. Can we celebrate them? Hallelujah. Amen. We celebrate them. May God give you the heart of this country. Amen. Amen. I want to register one more time my appreciation to Dr. Oracle. What a man. What a family. I have, uh, my spirit has connected so well with you. So, so well. And uh, I think I will have so many stories that you don't know that I may. Talk. I'm going to be gossiping what I've seen here. <laughs> May the Lord preserve you for this generation. May God keep you together. Even when you are 119. <laughs> May you be together. And may you still be relevant in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord provide for anything you'll ever need in this work. And cause the wealth of the wicked to land in your hands. Let's bless this great couple, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And finally clap for yourself. Clap like you are clapping for yourself. Blessed be the name of Jesus. My family. They came. They are in this country. My daughter has just talked to me that she was seeing me today on TV. And she said to me, I heard you talking about me. <laughs> and I'm sure she might be watching right now. She will give me a lot of stories. Amen. Amen. 
That means they are in the same spirit with us here. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been excited to be part of what God is, is doing in this place. May God strengthen this work. May God keep all of you under my voice. May you never lack anything good all the days of your life. That which you've been looking for, let it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus. May your ears only hear good news all the days of your life. Your enemies will see a sign of goodness that God is going to give to you before this year is over. And they will be put to shame. Now what I bika. Those who are laughing at you will laugh with you. In Jesus' name. You are not going to leave this place as you came in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to kill some demons in a few moments. So that they will not resurrect again and never disturb you. One of the messages that when I preach it, I feel it is what I'm about to share with you tonight. Then after I'm done, I'll go to meet my people who are called by my name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Blessed be the name of Jesus. I want you to open the book of Zechariah chapter 1. Zechariah chapter 1. And the title of my message is. The horns that scatters destinies. The horns that scatters destinies. Pembe ambazo zinasambaratisha hatima. As we are going to go through the word of God, the Lord is going to relocate you. Mungu ataweza kukuhamisha. You will go back to where you are supposed to be. Wewe utarudi mahali unatakiwa kuwa. I see your destiny coming back. Na uone hatima yako ikirudi. I see you becoming the person you were created to be. Mimi naona ukifanyika kuwa yule mtu Mungu alikuumba kuwa. The anointing in this room tonight. Na upango ulio katika nyumba hii leo is to gather you back. Ni kukurejesha tena. Can somebody shout I'm having a come back anointing. Sema ninarudi na upako. In Jesus name It is gathering you back From anywhere you were scattered This evening the Holy Spirit Is putting all pieces together Satan will know That God means serious business with you Amen Amen the horns that scatters destinies. The other day I told you that a nation can be ravaged. And I want to say to you today a nation can be scattered. A person can be scattered. An individual can be scattered. That is one of the master moves of the enemy. He desires to scatter. But thank God he says in his word that let God arise and let my enemies scatter. You will not scatter your enemies who scatter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Israel was scattered for many years. Israel walikuwa ametawanyika miaka mingi. One prophecy 
Because of their disobedience. Kwa sababu ya kutoti kwao. Scattered them. Wakaweza kutawanya na it was until 1948. Hadi mwaka elfu moja tisamia arubaini na nane. That is when they came back after thousands of years. Hapo nipo warirudi baada ya maelfu ya miaka. Scattered. Wametawanyika. You will not be scattered in Jesus name. And if you have been scattered I'm calling you back. Because still the prophets say to Israel. I'll gather you again. I will bring you back to your place. There is a grace in this room. To bring somebody back to your place. You are supposed to be something. Unatakiwa kuwa kitu. Some of you you are not supposed to be where you are. Wengine hamtakii kuwa mahali mko. You are supposed to be somebody. Unatakiwa kuwa mtu. But the enemy has scattered you. Lakini adui amekutawanya. Verse 17. Mstari wa 17. Zechariah chapter 1. Katika sura ya kwanza ya Zechariah. Again proclaim saying. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Let's read it together in English. Tusome pamoja katika Kiingereza. Okay, go. Again, proclaim, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, My city shall again spread out through prosperity. The Lord will again comfort Zion and will choose again Jerusalem. Amen. My city shall spread abroad. Spread out through prosperity. Those of you who hate prosperity, this is not your service. Because God says my cities shall spread out through prosperity. May I say something to you? The last sign that will bring Jesus back here we have seen so many. We are about to accomplish one. The last one that is going to bring the Lord Jesus back here. Is wealth. Transfer. Transfer. When wealth will be transferred from the hands of the wicked to the hands of the righteous, Jesus will come. Where do I get that from? We say that Israel is the shadow of the church. Especially Israel in Egypt and in the wilderness. When Israel was in Egypt. The last sign. That God demonstrated and they were released. Was wealth transfer. He said to them tonight. Ask for anything. Not just simple stuff. Silver, gold. Precious stones. Ask for anything. And the following day. They left. The last sign that will take place before the rapture. Before we leave planet earth. It will be wealth transfer. Well, I have heard people say when they are broke that I'm in the wilderness. I also wonder where they get that from. Because that is not even biblical. That when you are broke how many of you have ever heard such things? I'm going through a wilderness. No, sir. That is not the word of God. Let's take the example of Israel. When they were in the wilderness, they had silver. They had gold. In the wilderness, God asked for an offering. Mungu alitisha sadaka and he said enough. Na akasema imetosha. Which wilderness are you in? Je, uko katika jangwa gani hiyo? You are you are creating your own theology. Wewe unatengeneza theology ya kikwako. 
when you are in the wilderness ukiwa jangwani that's when you are must be loaded wapo ndipo unatakiwa mifuko imejaa you are in the wilderness and you are giving someone a million kenya shillings wapo jangwani na unatoa milioni moja unapatia mtu my brother you came when i was in the wilderness ndugu ulikuja wakati niko jangwani but you can take this million kenya shillings lakini hii milioni hebu shika that's a good wilderness isn't it hiyo ni jangwa nzuri sio praise god amen so let me read another verse for you Hebu niwasomee andiko lingine. We are reading from verse 17 to 21. Tumesoma kuanzia mstari wa 17 tuende hadi 21. Bring it on, bring it on. Hebu tuendelee. Then I raised my eyes and looked and there were four horns. I said to the angel who talked with me, interpret in Swahili so that my Swahili hearers can hear. Okay. I said to the angel who talked with me, Nikamwambia malaika aliyesimama nami. What are these? Nini hizi? He answered me saying this uh he answered me. Akanijibu. These are the horns. Hizi ndizo pembe that have scattered Judah. Zilizo watawanya wa Israel. Na Yehuda na Israeli. And Jerusalem. Na Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. Kisha Bwana akanionyesha wafu wa chuma wanne. Are you following what we are reading here? After he had seen the homes that scatter, he still in this lengthy vision. And he said, then the Lord showed me craftsmen. And I said, and I said, what are these coming to do? He said, These are the horns that have scattered Judah. Hizi ndizo pembe zilizo watawanya watu wa Yuda. So that no one could lift up his head. Hata ikawa kuna mtu aliyeinua kichwa chake. I came from Uganda. Nimetoka kule Uganda. To announce to somebody here. Kumtangazia mtu hapa. You will lift up your head again. Utainua kichwa chako tena. Somebody shout I'm going to lift up my head again. Sema nitainua kichwa changu tena. Give me my verse. I'm charging my battery. Mimi naongeza joto moto So he said these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Hizi ndizo pembe zilizo watawanya watu wa Yuda. So that no one could lift up his head. Hata ikawa kuna mtu aliyeinua kichwa chake. But lakini Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say but. Sema lakini. But the craftsmen are coming. Lakini hao wamekuja kuzifukuza. To terrify them. Kuzifukuza. To cast out the horns of the nations that have lifted up their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. Kuziangusha pembe za mataifa walioinua pembe yao juu ya nchi ya Yuda ili kuwatawanya watu wake. Somebody shout the craftsmen are coming. Sema wafuachuma wamekuja. Say Again. I want to announce to you today that the craftsmen are about to redesign your destiny. That destiny that was scattered by the horns is about to be redesigned. Are you listening to me? I came from the room, I've not even taken a nap. Since I left you. Nimetoka kwenye chumba hata sijapumzika. I've been speaking in tongues. Nimekuwa nikiongea kwa ndimi. I wanted to deal with some issues here. Nilikuwa nataka nishughulikie vitu fulani hapa. Dealing with horns that scattered destiny. Oh, hizi pembe ambazo zinatawanya hatma. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Wewe unielewa kile ninasema? In 1970 74 77 there when a president in Uganda called Idi Amin was at the peak of his powers he invited his best friend Colonel Muammar Gaddafi he had already closed all the Pentecostal churches children never used to go to school on Friday somebody said the horns that scattered destiny no child was allowed to go to school on Friday all children used to stay at home 
because that was now a holiday. Then you could go to school on Saturday. And then you break on Sunday. No pastor was allowed to preach on the streets of Kampala. Because the horns that scattered destinies had risen. Hear me good. He called his friend. And they went to the source of River Nile. They brought a sacrifice. Of 300 sheep. And they slaughtered one by one. Blood flowing in the River Nile. Rededicating Uganda to be an Islamic state. In 1977, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, appeared to a man of God I consider to be my mentor. He appeared to him at night and he told him, I'm calling you to tell this nation that I'm the greatest power in heaven and in the earth. He demonstrated power. Two years later, Amin was not in power. I came to announce to somebody if your destiny has been scattered, I see the craftsmen, the angels who excel in strength, Redesigning your destiny. Somebody is leaving this room with a new story in Jesus' name. Somebody shall let God arise and let his enemies scatter. You better lift up your hands and clap them to Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus who is able to do exceedingly abundantly and above Listen to me good. A nation can be scattered. Look at Somalia today. It used to be a great country. Do you know some of the most brilliant people you will ever meet are Somalis. Some of the richest people that I know are my friend are Somalis. Super business boys. But the nation is scattered. And you see they call themselves the Horn of Africa. That's how they call themselves. But the horns scatter them as if it is not a nation. May God remember Somalia. Somalia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Humble is a horns that scatter destiny. A family can be scattered. Years ago, I was praying for this beautiful lady. So pretty. So pretty. But she could not get married. And I, I vowed to her. I'm going to make your prayer item. I'm going to pray for you. But let me say to you today. A family can be scattered by horns. When I went that night, the very day we talked about the issue, I went to pray for her at night. While I finished my prayer, I went to sleep. While I'm in this bed sleeping, I saw a very old woman halfway dressed, very advanced in years. She came to me and said, she didn't have manners. She called me young man. She could have called me Apostle Mayanja. She needed to listen to Apostle Moses' teaching on honor. 
She is in the dream talking to me. Young man. Why are you praying for my daughter? She cannot get married. We don't get married. I said you. You don't get married. She said yes. She said you ask her. When her father married her mother. He can't even walk. I discovered it is the truth. The man was paralyzed one side. <laughs> and she told me, those who try to marry, they are divorced or they die. So don't even try to lift your prayer for her because she will not get married. And I looked at this very aged woman. You say I told you in the service, even in the dream, I'm bad. I fight when I'm awake and I fight in the dream. She said to me, I have gone. I told her, come back. She came back. Amen. Amen. Thank God because we serve a God who reveals the secrets. He reveals secrets up to down your foundation. She came back and, and I asked her, where are you coming from? She said to me, Remember the girl I'm praying for is a Muganda. She's a Ugandan. But listen to what the old woman said. I asked her, where are you coming from? She said, I'm from Rwanda. And I have gone. But remember, don't pray for her. Why is she stopping me from praying? Because she knows that prayer changes things. My prayer will change your things today. The following day I had to look for this lady. I said, you need to meet me. She said, I will meet you. So when she met me, I told her, let's sit down. We sat down and I said, this is what I saw. In the dream about you. I saw an old woman. And this old woman said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, she said, I don't need to pray for you because in your bloodline you are not permitted to marry. And that whoever tries to do so must die. Somebody said the horns that scatter destinies. And I told her, the old woman told me, your father, the day she married, he married your mother, things never worked for him. He's sick. And he's paralyzed. Her mother had, had four kids from this relationship. And she died when she was young. Because the lady said they must die. I I want to say to you, some demons we are dealing with are international. We are in Uganda. What is tormenting the girl is from Rwanda. But I don't care how international they could be. May the blood of Jesus fetch them from where they are. Let them be murdered at the sound of my voice. Somebody say every horn oh, 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 yeah. that has scattered my destiny. Catch fire. Say it again. Every horn that has scattered my destiny. Catch fire. May you arise and shine. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I began to continue talking. And she told me, my aunties who tried to get married, if they were non divorced, they are dead. And, and then I asked her, are you ready to listen to what I'm about to say? I said the woman who talked to me in the dream said she's from Rwanda. The moment I mentioned those words suddenly the person who was composed burst into tears. I had to look at her and wait for her to compose herself. I asked so why are you crying? She said, because whatever you have spoken is, is I've never heard of it. And some information you are giving to me, even us, the children of my father's family, we accessed it when our mother died. We accessed it when our mother died. Did you get it right? The information I was giving her, she's telling me that they accessed it when the mother died. They didn't know about it. After the mother died, the father and one sister of the dad, they shut them down and they revealed to them that their mother's origin was Rwandis. So the horn that was scattering this house, it was all the way from from Rwanda. Rwanda. You may not understand how far your family tree can go. But there is the blood of Jesus. Let it get down to your foundation. And erase every evil mark that is on your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout may the blood of Jesus speak for me. So we prayed. And she got a guy. She got a man. I came from Uganda. To address the horns. That scattered destinies. Nakuru. Nakuru. No horn will scatter you. May the church take over this territory. In the name of Jesus. May the spirit of God prevail in this land. With angelic force. Horns. I was in a church back in the day serving on the man of God. One evening we came for night of prayer. Our mentor was a prophet of God. The guys who went to fight in Rwanda, they were all born or raised in Uganda. Paul Kagame was raised in Uganda. He was educated in Uganda. He was in the Ugandan forces. Now time came and he said, we, we, we need to go back. Our pastor then said, before all these guys decided to go home, because there were Rwandan refugees who were born in Uganda, raised in Uganda, now they decided to go back home. There were Somalis here can say, we, we are going. They had lived in Uganda, so they were Ugandans. They were born in Uganda, they were Ugandans. In Uganda, we have the largest population of Rwandis. Listen, my pastor said, we need to pray for Rwanda. When nobody knew what was going to happen. That nation is going to be wiped off the face of the earth. 
the horns Pembe. entered Rwanda. Zika ingia Ruga, a Rwanda. small country Nchi ndogo. scattered that nation. Ikatawanya lile taifa. One million people Watu moja. died. Walikufa. My message is a serious message. Every horn that wants to scatter this country. Any horn. Lift up your head. Can you take two minutes addressing the horns that wants to scatter Kenya? Don't you hear the rumors that are circulating in this country? Every rumor of scattering this country, every horn that wants to scatter this land, I want to see some mad people addressing it now. Speak for Kenya. Address the nation. Speak for this land. Break the powers that be. Destroy the homes that wants to scatter this country. Come on, lift your voice. Minute. Get serious about it. I can't hear you. Go on. Hallelujah. Take two minutes. Take two minutes. Lift Kenya. Inua Kenya. Lift Kenya. Inua Kenya. Speak against the whole. That scatter nations. Horns. Pembe. That wants Kenya never to lift your head. Oh, has it, um, has it Those that are saying Kenya, you will not lift your head. Oh, pembe, sema, Kenya, we are kichwa. saying Zina sema. Kenya, you will lift your head again. Oh, na sema, Kenya, we saw so Kenya in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Kenya kwa I yesu. want you to hear, I want to hear you. Nataka Cover this place with prayer. Cover this place with prayer. Cover this place with prayer. Cover this country. The home that wants to scatter this land. Let them be destroyed. Let them become ashes. May the angels prevail. May the craftsmen rise again. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift Kenya so high. Lift Kenya so high. Lift it higher. Come on now. Lift Kenya. Pray for this land. Pray for this country. Cover Kenya with the blood. Destroy all evil forces against this land. In the name of Jesus, lift it so high. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Lift Kenya. Inua Kenya. Send the story of this land. Oh, you will lift your head, Kenya. Oh, inua Kenya. Kenya, you will lift your head again. Oh, Kenya, uta inua kichwa tako we tena. paralyze maneuvers. Oh, we destroy asana. satanic incubators. Oh, we break satanic wombs. Oh, Oh, glory to Kufu in Jesus' name. Clap your hands everywhere. Thank you for watching. We hope you've been blessed. This program continues tomorrow, same time. To get a copy of this whole sermon or any other on DVD, SMS or call 0710-448570. For prayers call 0719-727272 or 0722-657.
0700-610-6906. To partner with the Oracle Television Network, SMS or call 0700-620-6906. Six.